Excellent. Hi guys, we're out here tonight. Cody Joe's backstage. What's going on, BS Backstage? Hanging out tonight with Chase Bryant. Yeah. Woo! All right, yeah. We're, gonna, we're gonna try it one more time. I told us to be with quiet. Chase Bryant. Yeah. Kicking off the 2016 season. I said it right. You know, I'm one of those people. I write 2015 like for the first six months of the year. And then like then yeah then I'm like oh yeah it's 2016 now like I've, I've signed a couple of autographs where I'll do like 2015 yeah. still and I'm having to like you know go back in and try to fix it up as much as I can. The other day I'm gonna check I almost wrote 2013 that's how bad it was. <laughs> really I just didn't want them to be able to cash that yeah, check. Yeah, but, you know, you're, you're still living as Marty McFly. Right? Yeah 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 yeah. A little throwback back you know. <laughs> Uh, so how's uh, the year been? I mean, we're only nine days in it. Yeah, well, we just started. This is our first weekend back, so it's. Uh, I'm still trying to wake up from the holidays a little bit, but man, it's fun, and, and I love being in Charlotte too. So I'm glad to be back here, and uh, this is our first weekend out, so it's gonna be a blast. How much time did you spend off the road, and and, and like kind of over the holidays? Oh, gosh, um, probably. You know, I spent two weeks home mm -hmm. this holiday season, but I don't get to see my family much because of the fact that I'm on the road so much and doing as much as I am right now. Um, so, you know, it was nice to have a couple of weeks down and go to see them and hang out. So. Now, now, spending that time, at, at, you know, you're, you're two weeks at home with yeah. the family. Yeah. At like, you know, usually, mom and dad, I love you. I really do. I do so much. After like four days, uh, I'm like, get me the heck out of here. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. you have that feeling maybe well, at all? Yeah, yeah, I mean, mostly just for the reason I'm ready to start planning. You know, right. you know what I mean? So that's kind of my thing. But my mom and dad are very understanding of the fact that I am always ready to get out so the fact that I can get back out and start playing, right. you know what I mean? So that's kind of Very what I'm always, yeah. yeah, they're supportive of it. Now, I hear you guys do this thing on Christmas Eve. It's like a Mexican dinner. Yeah. Like, yeah. Tell us a little bit about this tradition, where it came from. Well, I, mean, I kind of, I, I love tacos, yeah. if you can't tell. Um, <laughs> believe it or not, this is not a body that you get by eating a lot of salads. I like um, food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we're at the Mexican dinner for yeah, a uh, you know, It all started with a joke, not a beer like Frankie Ballard yeah. say, but uh, it all started with this joke because my dad bought my mom a bunch. She likes chili rianos. My mom, or chili rianos, whatever you want to call them. So my mom, my dad bought them for her and paid all this money to have them done. And they got like, literally like 500 of them. And it was supposed to be just 50 of them for a party. And for whatever Dad reason, put an extra he put zero. In, yeah, he put yeah. an extra zero on accident, and so they ended up paying like thousands of dollars for all these like chilerianos. And so then it was like, well, let's just. It started happening next year as a joke, like, oh, let's go get those same ones. They're yeah. so good, but don't get five hundred of them. So it always just kind of took off from there. So now we do the the, the, uh, the Mexican food just about every Christmas Eve, and have so, friends and family over. So, you know. so what do you look forward to more? You think the Christmas Eve Mexican food or the Christmas Day like feast, or do you guys like well, the Mexican food left over for? Yeah, I like the Christmas Eve thing. You know, that's kind of like you know. I mean, as a kid, it was more suspense you uh -huh. know, for 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 Christmas morning. But you know, I like it because you know you. It's just kind of like that last moment before right. you know, that big day, and like I feel like once Christmas morning happens, when it's over, it's like yeah. everything shuts down. You know what I mean? Yep. So for me, that's a little weird, but I, but I love Christmas Eve. I really do. Now for New Year's, did you do anything big this year? No, no, I drank a lot of beer. I think yeah, probably yeah. Was about it. Do you have <laughs> but, a tradition uh, every year, like New Year's Day, like Dirk no. does the whole polar bo uh, bear, polar bear plunge? No, uh, my my New Year's tradition is usually just waking up the next day. No, I do yeah. that. That's, you made that's, it. That's, that's that's my big one. No, I, I mean, we just, we hung out with a lot of friends, yeah. you know, and, and that's kind of what we've always done is it's been more just kind of a gathering and just hanging out. We'll shoot some fireworks, have some beers, yeah. maybe shoot some You still some got all fingers, beer. right? I still do. Good, good. Uh, it's it's so hard to play guitar with like a nub in there. Well, I've got a wrist right now that's pretty much broken, so I'm, I'm playing with that right now. So Ooh. I've been in a stint for like weeks, so you can still see a little yeah. bit where that's been, but... So I'm getting through that slowly, but sure. Well, there. cool, man. We'll drink another beer. You won't feel it in a minute. Uh, head out there on uh, the state of Cody Joe's. Glad to have you in town. Glad to hear your music. And as always, glad to hang out. Cheers. 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 All right, man. Cheers. I'll start with a beer. <laughs> That's a code. Love you, Frankie. <laughs>